one which will decide the kings of the castle in Pool B is AJ Jacobs, the South African referee. And it's the Irishman, Mark Roach, who gets us underway with a steepling kickoff. The chase is on, it's gathered nicely, the ball's popped out. And Hermann Schultz stretching titanic legs for the first time this evening. Sun's gone down, it's cooled off a little bit. But this one should be absolutely scorching. Bulls wide, but it gives Ireland time to assemble their defence through the midfield. Through a Sadchuk. And now Monetta, the danger man, the money man, scampers away from contact. It's a speculative grubber. You need to be on your feet to play it. Penalty goes the way of the Pumas. Oh, it was a great opportunity, be wasn't there? Just get in behind. Love be Yen, I think it was. The man who grabbed the ball through nearly got there. Well, his teammates can just stand, figure out next moves. And they are important moves because the pool is very much up for grabs. And Argentina really dominating the breakdown. That is one of their strengths. The second man in is just so quick. They love that aspect of the game. That is why they are such a tough opposition. And we're now joined by the head coach of the Pumas, Santi, so good to have you with us. Argentina are always there now, in and amongst the runners and riders coming into these tournaments. There's a target on your backs, we were just saying in commentary. How does your young squad handle that sort of pressure? Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, yes, the team is, is, is a, we know it's a new season, a new order of the tournaments, and the, the special, the especially in the final with Madrid. And so we have a long trip during the year. The idea is, is, is growing step by step and always put, trying to, to test or to prove new players. Uh, good evening, Santiago Gomez, Cor. How are you, my man? Well, um, it's great to see you once again in charge. My mate, for you, leading to this tournament, what's been the key focus? The key focus is it's different than the last season where we, we, we look to be in the first four and now the idea is to be competitive during the season. Obviously, we want to, to win all the games, but the idea is to be competitive during, during all the season to arrive in a good condition to Madrid and to Paris. Well, Santi, we're right. just going to stay with you because we've just seen you bundling over in the corner. How important is a quick start against a side as efficient as Ireland? Uh, it's very important. Keep the possession. The most important, the restart is the key of our team. And then score first is, is, is a psychological way to, to play a game too. It's not just uh, uh, the, 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 the ideas of the player, it's not the, the, the mentality game, the way to, to have the possession against the, 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 the hard team like this one when you play with the second one of your pool. The idea is the restart and keep the possession and then the rest is coming. Sandy, just tell me, how much work do you put into your breakdown area? It's a, it's a part of the game that you really thrive in. You love our, our contact. Yeah, no, it's, it's very important. The restart and the breakdown is, is the possession. If you have the ball, you can control the game. Sandy, thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to catching up again soon. Thank you very much. See you. Well, Luciano Gonzalez has scored in all three matches now so far. He's having an absolute doozy in Dubai. And it's Argentina who lead conversion. Not quite going according to plan, but another penalty, which allows Pelandini to bury it in the Island 22. Yeah, and it come from the restart, exactly what Santi was talking about. Here you go. As we see the live quarters, Samoa and Argentina, as it stands, still a very long way to go in this match. Island amongst the mix as well will play Fiji. Time back on. Fantastic breakdown and kickoffs. The skipper who rises highest to claim it, and then a hard carry from Santiago Mare. Tackle release. Looking to puncture the island defence, but it not only holds firm, but yields a steal. And now the men in green, Roach. Is he caught high there? Referee says no. Wrestled 
to the ground where the wrestling continues. Can't use your hands. Argentina having things all their own way on the floor. Yeah, Herman Schultz here just monstering his way through the middle of that ruck. It was a nice turn of Firstly from Ireland who had zero possession. You feel in this game, they've had two times I think they've had it, it's been in their own 22. So they've been bad areas. Argentina just dominating everything through the physicality such as Herman Schultz. And that's a real turning of the tables because coming into this match, Ireland had made the fewest errors so far today and the most steals. So testament to the class of the Pumas. And they're able to flip those on their heads with um, some pretty lofty company watching on. Yeah, divine intervention, I have to say. Now here's an opportunity for Manetta to get some ball in hand. No options down the blind side, but now they go wide. It's a barreling carry from a Sabchuk and quick ruck ball through the hands. <laughs> Gonzalez wants another, and he has it. He probably shouldn't have given it to his winger. He went straight to him and gave him a high five, Gonzalez. <laughs> trying to up his stats for sure. It was set up beautifully, though, with a couple of incisions here earlier on. But this is the strength, is he? Look at the body shape of him, Gonzalez. Never going to be stopped. He's going, oh, sorry, I could have given it, but I didn't. But we get the five <laughs> points. It's a team game. Again, two points go bagging, but with two minutes remaining, it's Argentina leading last year's Dubai runner-ups. Climbing up the ranks, third in all-time history, tries. Gonzalez, still a long way to go from his coach. Santi's not sweating just yet. The restart is wide and gathered really nicely. A captain's gather from Harry McNulty. Well, I need a foothold here. They've scarcely had possession, and every time they've had it, the floor's not been their friend, so they want to keep this alive, keep this phase going. And there's a man who keeps phases going and defences sweating. Jordan Conroy. And again, wide it goes. Roach. This is the deepest into the Pumas half we've looked in some time. Jennings makes plenty of hay there through contacts. He's got such granity shoulders, the forward. And Jennings again thinks he's spied a gap, but the door is slammed shut by a flurry of blue and white jerseys. And oh, we thought we might have just seen Monetta in full flight. I think it was Herman Schultz here on a couple of occasions, just using the line speed to cut off the options for Ireland going wide and effectively cutting out Jordan Conroy he's one of their main playmakers that time just a little bit in front of the ball well we're coming to the scrum so this is a moment you stay square want to see a strike two more this is a moment all about the forwards but there is a man on the bench Terry Kennedy for Ireland who ran riot earlier on today. How long until you think you see we see his introduction? Well, I'm sure in the second half he'll come on and make an impact. And that's the thing now. It doesn't matter whether you start or come off the bench. You're going to have an impact at some stage, and I'm sure he'll have a massive one, the former player of the year. And he's the sounds. And it's a little shimmy from Che Mullins. Ball is available. He's already scored against Spain today. Now McNulty. Again, Mullins, we got a glimpse of the wheels of Che Mullins a bit earlier on. He absolutely glides once he builds up the head of steam. So to Gavin Mullin. It's an exciting Irish outfit, but we've not really seen that in these opening exchanges. Although, as I say that, Jordan Conroy pinwheeling through the tackle for Roach is dumped unceremoniously <laughs> into the turf of the Dubai Stadium. Now, what's the attitude here of Argentina? Do they go to the corner and try and get some more points, or do they just kick it out and be happy with a 10 0 lead? Gonzalez again involved. Yep. Time 
Well, Joaquin Pellandini says enough is enough. And it has been impressive stuff from the Pumas flying from the traps to open up a 10 nil. It's not just contained to the stands, they're taking place out on the pitch where Ireland have a 10 point deficit to overcome if they want to earn the right to call themselves the table toppers in Pool B. Well, KT, you called it. Kennedy is out there. And they'll be eager to get the ball to him as quickly as possible. We can see the line speed at the moment from Argentina, knowing the threat of Kennedy. But Harry McNulty, the skipper, makes a break. Well, the big man is away, but eventually snagged, and that takes some doing. John Roy's lurking on this wing, but instead the ball's popped inwards, and Shane Jennings bags 15 crucial metres for an Irish side in desperate need of a score. The ball's inside, and Gavin Mullen manages to earn his side a foothold in this one. Well, the perfect start for them, wasn't it? Ireland's James Topping would have been imploring his team to get that first score, and they do some nice work done initially from Comerford to set it up. There's some good footwork. They had a lot of numbers in following in support. Did Ireland he just rolls the pass off to a trailing Gavin Mullen, who puts it right underneath the H. And the kicks a good one, which means it's a three point game and the Bald Eagle absolutely loves it. Flamingo too, it's a veritable aviary here in Dubai. Ireland with something to build upon now. Tails up. There's blood in the water. Jack Kelly, full of ambition. Eager to have a tilt, no, no. newly introduced to, to the fray. And it is a fray at the breakdown. Pumas with the steal. Options wide. And now the options scything infield. And that's the foot race we've been waiting for all afternoon. It's Monetta up against Kennedy. Into two counter ups from Argentina and two turnovers. That was fantastic. That second one of Sachok was in both of them as well. They're just so adept at the timing, but it's worth the price of admission. The Moneta versus Kennedy, that's for sure. The pair of two World Sevens players of the years. There he is, Moneta after the chip and chase. Kennedy reading it, coming across with the speed, and here's the counter up. Powerful. Number 12, White. Sup. Got somebody on for you? Thank you. Turn back on. Coach! Point! Sit! Palandini with the put in. Green jersey straining against those in white and sky blue. And oh, just look at the wheels on Monessa. Argentina's wonder kid is at it again. Set piece player that's just so adept of moving him around and putting him in situations that he can thrive. And when he gets to that full noise, he is just so tough to stop. Look at that. Doesn't even get a hand laid on him from Conroe of all people. One of the quickest blokes going around. Easy money. Cleanest pair of heels in all of Dubai. And a man who's no stranger to a dot down. Greatness sees greatness. Well, quick as you like the gap. Expands back out to 10, just under three minutes remaining. The rugby IQ of the Argentinians just holding up 
the bar's players, he took that ball in. Graziano was involved. In play. Again, just That's easy kickoff. turnover. <laughs> Let's go. Crouch! As things stand, Argentina sit top of this pool with Ireland just behind them and Australia by the seat of their pants finding themselves in the quarterfinals. And they're not done yet. Most Pumas not by a long way. Here they go again. And Schultz. It's an awfully long way down from up there, but he scoops that off his bootlaces. Which allows Osadchuk to scamper back in field, right the contacts. It's well read by Jack Kelly. Makes the tackle. But Argentina now with the insurance policy. In the runway. Well, no need to rush here from Argentina. Well, they might go to the corner and use their line out. Scrum down. Or scrum. It's going to take time off the clock either way. But the penalties have really affected Ireland at the Number moment. Just hard to roll out of that situation. That's just Number the heads 12. up play from the Number 14, Jacqueline Bellandini. In the 15s game, KT, there's a, a rule of thumb that if you keep your penalty count to single figures, you're doing all right. For those that might be new to sevens, what's the golden number for this form of the game? I think it really depends on what type of game we're employing and what type of game it is and the situation around it. So I don't think it's actually one particular number, whether it be a single digit, but I think it's certain situations and keeping your discipline in those situations. Well, Sadchik was lurking on this near touchline. Argentina, again, patient play. They've got the buffer, they're running the clock down. It's game management of the highest order. Trundling through there, Orzel Sadchuk. in the way. Leave it, Tucker. There's the advantage. Tucker, effect. Once again, this is the game management that I like You're about good. Argentina, Tucker just slowing the, the play down. You can't win the game twice. There's Scrum. no need to rush it. They're at Scrum the two-score lead, so they're the ones chasing the game. All and right, that says that all seven penalties out. compared to one. Yep. Crouch! It is canny. Canny from Santiago Gomez Corres, man. Let's stand up. We'll take it to the mark for you. Happy there? And it's going to see them finish at the top of the pool. And coming out on top against the game they will have targeted out of their various opponents. And again, safely does it. Well, we thought this one would be fire and brimstone and pizzazz left, right and centre, but actually it was the guile and the discipline of the Pumas which got the job done and sees them top pool B, a masterclass in winning the battle on the floor, maintaining possession and just stifling an Irish side with so much firepower. This one finishes Argentina 17, Ireland 7. And the result of that, as we mentioned, Pumas up top, Spain trailing beneath, but quarterfinals sewn up for both Ireland and Australia too.